Hi, welcome to my studio. I've had a lot of you reach out and ask what colors do professional artists use on their palettes for their paintings? And that's a great question. It's an important question and I'm happy to answer it. Let's go ahead and just jump right in and take a look. For the purpose of this demonstration, I prefer to line up my palette colors along the side of my palette. Many artists like to go along the back. Many, perhaps even most, but not all, but many artists will use two of every primary color. So two yellow, two red, two blue. And with these colors, these primary colors, you can mix up almost any color you could possibly imagine. I always start with titanium white, and then I add cad yellow, cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, cadmium red, alizarin crimson, a cerulean blue or a turquoise, and then ultramarine blue. I also like to add uh, burnt umber. Burnt umber and ultramarine blue mix to make a beautiful uh, black, which can also be uh, become a charcoal or a gray with white added to it. The reason for pick, picking and uh, putting out two of every color is that colors are assigned to temperature. So for example, cadmium yellow is considered warm while yellow ochre is considered cool. Cadmium red is considered warm while alizarin crimson is considered cool. A cerulean or turquoise is considered warm while ultramarine blue is considered cool. Let me give you an example of, of how this might work. If you want a nice warm sky, you might use a little bit of cerulean with some white and it'll be a very nice warm sky. But if it's a cooler sky you're trying to achieve or you're seeing and you want to convey, then you might use ultramarine blue. They're also, uh, the temperatures are also important because cool things go further back in a painting to create depth while the warmer things stand out and pop forward. You might notice that I'm working with a gray palette. The reason for this is because this helps me in determining the darkest darks in the painting or in the subject matter and the lightest ones. So as an example, if I see darks in the distance, how dark are they? If I see something light or a highlight, how light is it? So if I take the black that I've made with burnt umber and ultramarine blue, and I take some titanium white and I mix it, I can arrive exactly at this middle value. So whether it be trees and using the colors green or sky color, this palette, using this gray palette, helps me arrive at the darks, the mediums, and the lights in the subject that I'm painting. Before I start any painting, I like to make up secondary colors made up of the three primary colors we've discussed here. So I like to always have a little bit of orange on the palette because I use a lot of orange. I use a lot of the, these uh, secondary colors in the painting. So to have them handy made up ahead of time is just a good idea. So I make up an orange out of the cadmium red and cadmium yellow, and it makes up a beautiful orange. Then I use the um, alizarin crimson, and I use ultramarine blue. I'll put in a little white so you can see it. It makes a beautiful purple, and purple is beautiful in the shadows, so it's always a nice color to have as well. And then the third secondary color that I use a lot of is green, so I always like to make that and I have that with ultramarine blue and the cadmium yellow and that makes up a beautiful green so again these are a lot of colors I'm going to add a little bit more of the cadmium yellow to that a lot of these colors you'll be using in the paintings might as well make up a pile of those to have on uh, standby so I really hope that this has been helpful to you and answers the question what colors do professional artists use on their palettes for their paintings these are foundational colors that we've talked about in this video, and with them you can go forward and mix any color you could possibly imagine. I hope that you found this helpful, and if so, please go ahead and like and subscribe 
and even share if you think it can help a fellow artist.